these farmers have been having a lot of challenges. First of all, they had challenges of uncertified seeds. Most of them were getting seeds and chemicals from Uganda. As I told you earlier, Uganda is just a, a walking distance here. So, uh, due to the issues of black market, so farmers were just walking to Uganda and buying uncertified farm inputs. So they were really affecting their produce, especially on tomato production. Um, another issue is on pests and diseases. Even after our interaction with the farmers, still farmers still have uh, a challenge of bacterial wilt because this place is a bit cold when it rains and as you know bacterial wilt uh, thrives well in cold areas. And another challenge and a big one is marketing. And that one is not only to the tomato farmers but the whole of Kenya and I think the whole of Africa we are having a challenge with marketing of the farm produce. When we started now interacting with them fully, they organized themselves into producer organizations or producer marketing organizations whereby they are able to get information or trainings as a group and they are also able to market their produce as a group collectively. And even these middle, middlemen, they are also part of the, the value chain. So the farmers realized that the middleman is really exploiting them. Uh, he's making a lot of profits from the farmers because the farmers are unable to know the prices of their produce in different markets as per that particular period, maybe the time they have produced the tomatoes or the onions or the passion fruit. So that's now the time when we came with the ICT project because farmers were really having issues, a lot of challenges in marketing their produce. A broker can come as far as from Nairobi or Kisumu or Kitale to come and pick the tomatoes. He will just come and go direct to individual farms. And then it's the broker who will dictate the price of the crate of the tomatoes. Farmers now have collection centers. As we will visit one of the ICT centers, it's also a collection center, whereby they take their produce there. And then when the buyer comes or that broker comes, he just gets the produce from one collection point uh, rather than going to individual individual farms to get it's also a waste of time they dictate their price for the produce through the ICT project farmers are also able to get a uh, market information market prices of their produce th through the SMS platform it's called frontline SMS whereby they are subscribed to an M farm platform so MFARM platform pays for these SMSs, bulk SMSs, for farmers to access information, market price, market information from this platform. And even when they, are, they want to sell their produce, they just go somewhere and click that we have this number of uh, crates uh, in a certain place, so we want, we want to sell. And then MFARM also looks for a buyer and then connects the farmers.